ចាសងគ្រប់នឹងខ្ញុំរស់ពួកលោកលោកស្រីអ្នកញាដែលកំពុងដាំដាំទស្សនាការផ្សាយផ្ទាល់របស់សាព័ត៌មានខ្មែរ
Um, what would you say to young girls who want to get involved in Jiu Jitsu? Um, I think that's a great idea. I mean, my goal is to always try to expand women's Jiu Jitsu. Like I said, it's a male dominated sport and we need more women, more girls to start doing Jiu Jitsu. Um, one of my main goals this time around was to get people in Cambodia, especially girls, to start training Jiu Jitsu. Because eventually when I retire, I want to become the head coach for Jiu Jitsu and have my oh. own team of girls. And I think, especially with sports, it's better you start now than wait later because then it's going to take longer to get better. So I think it's better if we try to get a group of girls to start Jiu Jitsu now. That way, eventually they can take my spot and win Sea Games, win Asian Games and represent Cambodia. Yeah, I guess by watching you um, matching in these uh, Sea Games, a lot of young women would like to do like you. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm really happy that we got to host it this year because now people in Cambodia before, they would see it on like Facebook or you know the news. But now they actually got to see it in person. So now they know, they understand a little bit of like how Jiu Jitsu works. Mm -hmm. And what are the advantages of learning Jiu Jitsu? Um, there's so many things. Um, for me, it was mainly like self-confidence. Mm -hmm. um, just being able to protect myself and knowing that like I can like be healthy and just whenever you're training, like you learn like so many different like things that go into it. Like, like I said, being confident. Um, obviously having respect and all, so many other things. But Jiu-Jitsu, I've been doing it for most of my life. So it's definitely helped me in other areas, like outside the mat too. Right. And um, how do you feel before, during, and after a match? It's, I'm very curious about this. Um, so I fought in the Gi, which is when I got the silver medal. Um, like I said, that time I was really nervous because um, I had a little bit more attention, like the cameras behind the scenes and people cheering. I think I got um, a little bit overwhelmed and more nervous. Mm. But the second day, whenever I fought the Nogi, whenever I won the gold, um, I felt more comfortable. I think it just kind of took me by surprise when I fought in the Gi. But uh, before a competition this time around, I just told myself I need to give my best. And by doing that, by giving my best, I already know like that I can win. Um, is there one opponent that you would like to face? Uh, no. I mean, I pretty much just fight the same girls all the time. Um, like I said, I lost in the Gi to the Philippine, but um, I've also beat her before, so I think we're one and one right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably see her at Asian Games. <laughs> yeah, and. What's next for you after the Sea Games? Um, so after the Sea Games, I have a Jiu Jitsu tournament in the U.S. called mm -hmm. Worlds. Um, it's also a really big tournament. And then later on in the year, I will come back to Cambodia for Asian Games. And we'll have that in China. Wow. Yes. And what um, I already asked you before, but I think a lot of people would like to know, do you plan on spending more time in Cambodia? Yes, for the most part, I normally come just for the competitions because back in the U.S. is where I do most of my training to get prepared for the competitions. But like I said, I will be coming back in September for Asian Games and I will try to stay longer for a few more weeks. That way I can enjoy Cambodia more. All right, yes. Tessa, thank you very much for joining us today. And would you say a few words to younger people who really support you? Um, thank you everyone for supporting me. Um, you know, it really makes me happy to have all the support. And my, like I said, my main goal is to have everyone in jiu-jitsu training. Of course, I would like more women too, but even men, we need like more guys on our national team for jiu-jitsu. I want jiu-jitsu in Cambodia to grow. Right now, there's only one school in jiu-jitsu, but I'm hoping that we get more people to train, more jiu-jitsu schools, because that's gonna help everyone. That's gonna help the whole country. So that's my main goal is to, make a stronger Cambodian national jiu-jitsu team. That way everyone can win Sea Games, Asian Games, and represent Cambodia well. Yeah, again, thank you very much, Jessa, for coming here today. And I really appreciate it. And I wish you luck on your next match. Thank you. Good. Yeah, so I'm going to ask you 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 to ask
ជួបជាមួយនឹងខ្ញុំមាន់មែនតីនៅសប្តាហ៍ក្រោយនៅក្នុងកម្មវិធី